Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about browsing your smart gallery by item view. Okay, so we have the pack view and the item view. You can see the respective tabs here at the top. Uh, pack view, you can see all the different uh, packs. And item view, you can see the uh, various items individually. We go into like uh, character, for example, um, full body morphs. There's just various um, items that are all separate. And uh, if you want to find, say for example, we go over here to... Uh, skirts or rather pants and we find these cool looking uh, pants right here cargo shorts we can right click them and if we want to find the pack that it comes from we can right click and select find pack okay and that'll take us over to pack view and you get seeds from the apocalypse apparel and equipment uh, base set okay so any of these items you can you can click in the pack as well and you can find all the individual items that way uh, within the pack view but within item view you can go over to here to item view and you can see all the things individually um, in item view and it's just, it just has a lot of advantages over the traditional content manager. It's much easier to find your content, much easier to customize and aggregate it into certain areas uh, wherever you want. Now, if we're, uh, you can see here, if we go to all, um, we can scroll our mouse wheel to, uh, you know, scroll through the all the different content. Again, it's not organized that much when you're in all. It's basically all the content. And how many items? You can see at the bottom here, it's 1,973 items we have. Um, in our content library currently. And we can browse through these uh, various pages here. You can see uh, page two, page three, page four. You can also enter the page manually here if you want. Um, you just enter like maybe a value of, uh, make sure my number lock is on there too, and press enter. Okay, and you can see that uh, you can go to page two and uh, so on and so forth. Um, again, you can scroll through the, um, the pages like this as well. Another way you can scroll through the pages is you can use your, uh, whoops, let's go back to page one. You can use your page up and page down keys on your keyboard. So if we go to page down, you can see we're page down like this. We're going further down the list and page up. Okay. It'll show all the new uh, rows of items. It's just a quick and easy way to browse through your content. And again, you can right click and on any product and select product info. It'll show you the author, which in this case is Reillusion and find the pack name as well. So if you want, um, you can go ahead and click on the pack name and it'll load up the uh, uh, pack uh, website, so the pack uh, page in your browser. Okay, and you can browse through that if you want and have fun doing that. But for now, let's go back to Character Creator and close that down. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna just go ahead and apply a couple of items to our character. Uh, we're going to search for a specific author this time. Okay, so you can, in the search field, you can enter in an author, you can enter in a tag, uh, you can see right here, if we click on the uh, filter, we can enter in a name, an author, or a tag. If we have all of them selected, it's going to, uh, you can just select, you can just enter in an author, name, or tag, and it'll search all those different filters, okay? So I'm searching for an author, or rather a developer named Abore Art. You can see if I type in Abore at the top here, it'll open up, uh, load up a bunch of items from Abore, our, uh, one of our developers. And if you want to find out which pack this is, you can right click it and go to, again, product info, and you can find Apocalypse uh, Apparel and Entertainment, or Equipment, not Entertainment, uh, Equipment Base Set, and the author is Abore Art. And if you want to find more items from this particular author, from this particular developer, you can also click on his name, uh, his or her name, and you can see it'll load up in the marketplace all the individual items that you can purchase, um, I content and export license from the marketplace. So you can purchase all of these things, all these items individually, if you don't want to purchase the entire pack, okay? Let's go ahead and apply some of these items to our character. So generally in item view, the way you'll do that is, uh, let's just go ahead and uh, go to clothing, for example, um, and we'll just keep uh, a bore in there. So any anything that has, uh, is from this pack, from this author will appear. So we can go ahead and, you know, load in some cargo shorts maybe. Um, and after this, we'll quickly load in some shoes. All right, throw in some shoes there, some boots. Let's go ahead and delete that underwear. Make sure you right click it and select the uh, boxers. There we go. And delete it. So it's kind of po not poking through there. And then we can go over here to uh, shirts. Again, we can just load in any old uh, shirt. Looks like he's ready to go for a hike here. And we may want to go quickly to our uh, modify tab and conform and just uh, calculate the collision for the shirt. That looks like it's fine, but the boots may need to be fixed there. Let's click on the boots and uh, conform, calculate the collision. There you go. And back to our smart gallery, and we can continue, continue uh, adding other things like accessories for the head, torso, arms. You can see this one, we have a gas mask, or you can just throw on these quick uh, goggles here. There you go, looking really cool, uh, and so on and so forth. Again, you can just totally deck out your character. 
Um, and again, we're searching for content from Abore Art. Now you'll notice as well that there's, let's just go ahead and uh, delete the Abore uh, filter there. And you'll notice as well that there's an item called single item here, a category called single item underneath your item view. Uh, so if you have single item selected, you'll notice that there's a few things that I've purchased here from the marketplace. In this area will be all the items you've purchased as single items separately from the marketplace, okay? So if I go over to uh, my browser view here, I'm going to go quickly and load up my uh, inventory list. If you can't find your inventory list in marketplace, you can just go up here once you're logged in and go to uh, inventory list for content. And it'll just kind of load up a new window here, I guess. And we'll just see this once it loads up. You can see that we have all the different uh, packs and items here. The items are displayed at the top here. These are the most recent purchases. You can see below are a number of different packs that I've purchased that I may or may not have installed yet from uh, various developers. Um, if you want to filter for items only, you can go to product category. In this case, we'll just choose character creator. Okay, so there's 47 items on three pages. If we only select single items, you can see now there's only three items on one page. And these are the ones that I've purchased particularly, specifically rather, for this tutorial. Okay, so once you've purchased them, uh, again, you'll have to sync your uh, local library. And it should appear in your single item section here in the item view. Uh, if we want, we can just go ahead and uh, just double click on all of them and uh, just download them all. Then we can replace the items on our character. Let's throw on these cyber pants here and uh, we probably want to delete all the other stuff because it's going to cause a little conflict there. Let's delete our cargo shorts. And our boots, there we go. Get rid of all those and throw on these boots here. So now he's half post-apocalypse and half sci-fi. And then we can delete the shirt and throw on this cool little uh, cyber shirt. Maybe those glasses are suitable for both themes. So we'll just kind of keep those on there. All right, looking pretty cool. So that's where you can find the uh, single items there as well. And again, any, any new purchases you've recently made will appear here and, uh, and so on and so forth. And that's really about all I want to show you in this tutorial on browsing by item view. Uh, we'll talk about more uh, different details of the smart gallery and various other tutorials. Uh, make sure you check out our getting started tutorial as well as our browsing by pack view tutorial. And I hope to see you in the next video.